Hello, my name is Zahra Ameli and I'm a PhD uh, candidate in structural engineering. Uh, my advisor is Professor Eric Landis and my research is focused on using um, artificial intelligence and UAVs or drones to improve bridge inspection. Uh, today, I want you. Uh, I want to give you a summary of my work and uh, hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to start with bridge inspection um, uh, procedure. Uh, bridge inspection is usually is, uh, is done by inspection crew, and they collect uh, different type of um, data from the bridge inspection, such as images or videos uh, using uh, various type of sensors. Uh, for example, uh, thermal, uh, regular camera, LiDAR. And once um, these data are collected, they need to analyze the data. Um, data um, processing uh, involves tasks such as data integration, cleaning, defect detection, future extraction. Um, and uh, these tasks, uh, may uh, transforms the collected raw data into meaningful information, uh, which is uh, necessary to make a decision about the uh, functionality of the bridge. Um, so the derived information from the data processing step is used to make decisions about um, repair, replacement, or any necessary um, decision which is uh, required to uh, keep the functionality of the uh, bridge. Um, but considering the whole process of the bridge inspection, it, it still involves um, uh, a lot of uh, human um, intervention, which might be very uh, costly, time consuming, inefficient, and also subjective. So that's why we uh, focus on automating bridge inspection. And uh, my contribution can be summarized as automating data processing using um, deep learning algorithm to uh, clean, classify, and detect uh, defects. And also I developed an open source semantic segmentation annotate annotated corrosion database, which is available at you website and um, uh, everyone who wants to train their own algorithm can use um, those uh, database and also I developed a um, pixel voice corrosion classification and condition rating algorithm according to Ashto and bridge inspection reference manual uh, which is able to quantify uh, corrosion and uh, in order to achieve these goals, um, I started with data collection. I inspected uh, some of the bridges around Orono and Bangor area. Also, I had a trip to Augusta and inspected bridges and collected more than 1,200 uh, images from the bridge structures, make, making sure that uh, I cover all type of uh, defects which might uh, exist in the bridge structure. Once the images are collected, uh, I use two annotation tools, which is called Label Me and RoboFlow to perform uh, annotation tasks, uh, which is a necessary step to um, make our uh, images uh, um, in a proper format to uh, train our uh, deep learning algorithm. The deep learning algorithm, which I used uh, to defect detection, um, is called YOLO V8. You only look once. Uh, this algorithm is one of the most advanced algorithm in defect detection, classification, and um, segmentation. Uh, and the once um, the the images are uh, divided into three categories. 70% of uh, images is used to train our uh, algorithm, 20% to validate it, and 10% of images are used to test our algorithm. Uh, 
Um, training took about seven hours and we needed to repeat it a um, couple of times because we want to tune our, our hyperparameters to make sure we uh, use uh, optimum um, hyperparameters, which has the best performance. Once the algorithm is trained, um, uh, we uh, validated it and then did a prediction task on the test images. The algorithm had a decent performance in categorizing images into seven uh, type of defects. Um, and once the, this step is done, uh, we need to quantify the, um, uh, the defects because according to the bridge inspection reference manual, each type of defects need to classify into four condition states. And uh, corrosion is one of the most challenging ones because uh, it doesn't have a regular shape, boundary, and also color. And uh, we chose the corrosion and um, uh, did, uh, an, again, we need to do annotation on the corrosion images to uh, prepare them to train our um, semantic segmentation algorithm, which does um, condition rating task. And um, corrosion images was uh, up to, um, uh, 500 images uh, containing different uh, severity of the corrosion. According to the bridge inspection reference manual, we have four category of um, classes. Uh, no corrosion or uh, minimal corrosion is called um, a good uh, condition state. And based on the severity of the corrosion, we have uh, three more uh, condition states. And each color represents a uh, different type of uh, corrosion. So here we have a few samples of the annotated images. Uh, the first column shows the um, uh, original images and the second color shows our um, annotation. Um, as you see, this annotation could be very time consuming because uh, it involves pixel wise uh, mask of the corrosion. And uh, it should be done very carefully because otherwise it, it will affect performance of our um, algorithm. So uh, for example, here green color shows fair um, uh, condition states, uh, red, uh, sorry, yellow shows the poor, and the uh, red uh, severe, which has also like section loss. And once all of the 500 images are annotated, we need to uh, choose a deep learning algorithm to perform semantic segmentation tests. Uh, I chose mask RCNN, which is one of the um, best uh, semantic segmentation algorithms. And uh, again, we did uh, train it and hyper-tuned um, uh, and tuned, sorry, the hyperparameters and um, did prediction on the test images. Uh, these images, the first row show, uh, the first row, show, row shows the uh, original images or annotated images. And the second row shows the uh, output of our algorithm. Uh, for example, if we compare these two image, we can see algorithm has a very good performance in predicting the class of the corrosion, which is like both fair uh, with a high um, score, like 92% possibility that this uh, mask belongs to the fair uh, class of the corrosion. And also same here, uh, like poor, which is very close, the mask is very close to our annotation and also fair and uh, again, uh, poor uh, um, masks here. But for the severe corrosion, uh, the algorithm was unable to detect it, uh, to classify it properly. And it classified this, it as uh, poor while uh, it is uh, severe corrosion. 
And I, we think that if we collect more data, more images of the corrosion, uh, we can still improve the performance of our algorithm. Uh, one challenge which we had was uh, finding severe corrosion, uh, which is uh, usually very uh, rare compared to um, poor and um, fair corrosion. And it makes sense because uh, usually um, the inspect the this severe corrosion is not allowed in the important structures such as uh, bridges. So we aim to collect more uh, severe corrosion images and um, retrain our algorithm and improve it, uh, its performance. This table here shows the result of the two algorithm. Uh, these are some uh, evaluation metrics, uh, F1 score, precision, recall, accuracy, and uh, map or uh, mean average per precision. Uh, mean average precision is a value between uh, zero and one. And as it gets closer to one, uh, it shows that the algorithm is getting better and better. And as you see for test images, um, both uh, mask RCNN and YOLO V8 has a very decent performance uh, in uh, predicting our um, corrosion condition rates. Now, to conclude uh, my presentation, a database uh, of uh, 1,200 images are collected and def a defect detection algorithm was trained, uh, trained to classify the images into seven categories of uh, defects. And then a semantic segmentation algorithm is trained using corrosion images to perform corrosion condition rating tests according to ASHTO and Bridge Inspection Reference Manual uh, regulations. And uh, the data set, uh, the images and also the annotations is made available online and uh, which offers valuable support in advancing the segmentation uh, models by providing high quality images and corresponding annotation. And uh, experimental results and comparison on the real database verified that the trained mask RCNN and YOLO V8 uh, models perform decently for uh, corrosion segmentation and condition rating. And um, it can be used uh, by um, anyone who wants to perform prediction or uh, detection tasks on any type of uh, images uh, collected from the uh, bridge inspection. And uh, at the end, I want to thank uh, TIDC, um, main DOT, and uh, VHP, and also my advisor for their support and uh, guidance during uh, my PhD journey. And uh, thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed it.